In 1988, an eight-year-old girl disappeared while walking in her neighborhood in Fort Wayne, Indiana. For three decades, no one knew who took her. No witnesses, no confession, just one promise, written in chalk, I will kill again. Today we're going to talk about how DNA and genealogy cracked a case that haunted a city for 30 years. April Tinsley was just eight years old, playing outside on a rainy Good Friday afternoon. She told friends she was going to get her umbrella, but she never made it back. Three days later, her body was found in a ditch 20 miles away. The entire community went into fear and mourning. Police worked relentlessly. Hundreds of interviews, thousands of leads, but nothing matched. The case went cold for years. Then in 1990, something chilling happened. A message was found on a barn door near where April was taken. It read, I kill eight-year-old April Tinsley. Did you find her other shoes? Authorities believed the killer was taunting them. And then in 2004, he struck again. Dozens of anonymous notes were left in the mailboxes of young girls in the same area. Inside were threats and Polaroids. The messages claimed responsibility for April's murder. Police had DNA from the crime scene but no match existed in any criminal database. So again, the case sat. Then in 2018, everything changed. A new investigative tool was emerging in the United States, genetic genealogy, the same technique used to identify family members through ancestry websites. Investigators uploaded the unknown killer's DNA to a public genealogy database. And this time, there was a match, not to the killer himself, but to distant relatives. Genealogists built a family tree, generation by generation, until one name rose to the top, John D. Miller, a quiet factory worker living just 20 minutes from where April was taken. Authorities took a DNA sample from his trash. It was an exact match. When they confronted him, Miller calmly said, I knew you were coming. After 30 years, April finally had justice. Miller was sentenced to life in prison in 2018. This case showed the world that science can speak for the victims who no longer can. It reshaped how law enforcement solves cold cases across the United States. And it proved that even after decades, DNA never forgets. If you want more stories of cold cases solved by DNA, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment more DNA cases below.